Here we go with a brand new detailed review here at Dell's Toy Show. We got the Black Panther Target exclusive. Let's take it out the box, check them out together. And I'm pretty sure you could only get this on the internet. So if you want it, go in the description box below and check it out. It does not come with a stand. That kind of sucks. They should come with a stand. All bobbleheads should come with stands because it's just too hard to balance half the time because the head is oversized. When you try balancing it, it's just not easy. <laughs> Let's try again. Stay. There we go. We got him. He's staying. So there's a close-up look. And as I was saying before, the whole deal with this one is this is from the comic book back in the days. This is the old Black Panther look. And the newer Black Panther from all the movies that a lot of you are familiar with now, you've got, for instance, here, the Walmart exclusive. And I have another one right there. Check him out. But um, the paint looks pretty good. As you can see, it's kind of got a matte finish on the upper on his head and then toward the gloves and the boots he does have a gloss to him plus there's a gloss on the cape as you can see how we got his collar popping real fresh there's a look at his back and there you go a close-up hd look at the target exclusive of the black panther available now under retail you can get it for limited time i will link that in the description box below i Definitely recommend it if you're a fan of Black Panther. New pops have came out recently. We got Daryl Dixon right there. We've got Sasha, the zombie Sasha. Welcome to a brand new episode. We've got a new pickup from Funko. Now I gotta say, Funko. I know Funko ain't gonna watch this, but just in case they are. Why does it take so long to ship a package? I ordered this, let's see. I'm trying to think when I ordered this. It was a little bit ago. I ordered it the day it released. Shouldn't take more than a week for a package to be delivered in 2018. I mean, it really should only take at most four days, not almost two weeks, if not two weeks, but I did get something I really wanted. I am happy that they did not make this extremely limited. By the way, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified. You got to hit that little bell next to where it says subscribe. Because if you don't, YouTube does not notify you. You're basically giving permission for them to let you know when I upload a new video. So, make sure to do so. I know for one thing they pack these nice. That's one thing I like about ordering from there. And I'm very excited for this one right here. As you can see, we got Sasha the Walker. And Sasha was fantastic on this show. Look at that. How sweet is that right there? I love this scene. It was so eerie and creepy, the build-up to when she pops out the coffin and, she, you know, she's got her headphones in and she's, you seeing all of these flashes go in and, man, it was an awesome scene. Sasha was a great character and she definitely will be missed on the show. And I'm very happy to have this in the collection. I pre-ordered two of them but i'm gonna wait until i find a third pop actually two more pops because gamestop is doing a buy three get one free right now so there's no sense for me to pick up ezekiel and eugene when i could just wait a little bit longer and get two other pops that i want i'm gonna pass on the other ones richard's cool Sasha, I got this Sasha. I don't need two Sashas. And Negan, I have a Negan right here. I do not need two Negans. But this, to me, is my favorite Negan pop. 
So this is the one that I got right here, the black and white one. He's got blood splatter on the face and on Lucille. And I think that this one is fantastic. This was a Toys R Us exclusive. The box is a little damaged, but if, as long as it's not like crushed where I can't balance a whole bunch of boxes together, I'm fine. I really want them to release a uh, Carl Pop with the patch. I do not own any Carl Pops yet. I'm waiting for that. Unless, you know, if someone ends up giving me one as a present, like a friend or something like that, then I'll be grateful. But um, until then, I'm just going to wait because they're going to eventually release a Carl with the patch. I want him to have the patch. Uh, but this one is just super badass. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know which one is your favorite out of all the Negans. Uh, this one is really nice, though, the shaved one. It really looks like him when he shaved and he went back to Alexandria and, you know, he's getting the pasta made for him. <laughs> he goes crazy with the whole pool table scene. Such a good show. I love this show right here. And I think this is fantastic, this pop. I highly recommend it. You still can find it over at Funko's website, Funko-Shop.com. It is limited edition. I don't know how many they made. I personally really don't care. It is cool when they are limited, but, you know, I don't buy pops over how limited they are. I think it is cool to get them limited, but, you know, if I like a pop, I'm going to buy it. You know, I got Metallica pops. They're not limited. I like, not every pop I buy is going to be limited. Yoda, so... It's just whatever catches my eye. Razor Ramon up top. I did get the chase. And what was so cool about the chase was the fact that he's wearing the NWO outfit. I wish that they put Scott Hall right here instead of Razor Ramon. Because he wasn't Razor Ramon when he wore the NWO outfit right there. Let me get close up real quick for you guys. And um, I think that's the only complaint I have with this chase that... They didn't put Scott Hall because they've done that in the past. For example, hopefully I have it right here. Do I? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Give me one second. I'm sorry, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Show that love if you haven't yet. You see on the Princess Leia, this is the chase. It says Luke Skywalker instead of Princess Leia on the speeder bike. So, like... I think that it would have been cool, like how they did on the chase, they have Luke Skywalker, they actually put Luke Skywalker's name right there. I think it would have been awesome if they put Scott Hall instead of Razor Ramon, because he wasn't Razor Ramon in WCW, he was Scott Hall, you know, and um, I just I absolutely love these. These are probably my favorite pops that I've gotten in a long time, these two right here, and I gotta say... This one is fantastic. I love this one. I want more Walker, Walking Dead pops, but I was late to the party when it came to collecting pops. I've been collecting for about over a year now, and, you know, I wasn't collecting them then. I bought a few, but I wouldn't say I was a collector, and now I really want those, but I hate having to pay resell if anyone has any walkers they want to make trades with me hit me up i have a lot of doubles of pops that i buy and i would love to get that one definitely i definitely would love to get that one i hope you guys enjoyed this video i definitely have as i said i pre-ordered king ezekiel and Eugene and Eugene's pop is really great in person. He actually has a jar of pickles You know what? I filmed a little bit of video at the store going through all of them Let me show you that you'll get a close-up look at Negan everyone that just released in this new wave. Let's get into that Here's a look at King Ezekiel right there Sasha Richard check him out Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. This guy. With his pickles. Oh my god. I think I gotta get this one. Sneaking. How awesome is Eugene with his jar of pickles? So funny. 
I feel like they did a great job on this wave right here. And let me know if you guys picked up any of the new ones. Have they hit your stores yet or not? Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're hunting for. And if you ever want to do any trades, if you have anything that I'm looking for right now, I'm definitely looking for those Walking Dead Pops I mentioned. But I also am looking for the Pennywise Chase. I'm willing to trade more than one pop for the Pennywise Chase to make it an even trade. So definitely hit me up. You could do that on my Instagram over at Dell's Toy Show or Real DJ Dell's. One or the other. I've got Chases for trade. I've got, you know, got a few things. I got the Black Panther Walmart exclusive right here. Pretty cool pop. I have um, an extra hit that's up top over there. I've got an extra hit for trade. I have a Stan Lee available for trade right there. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I have a Masters of the Universe Faker available for trade. But I'm looking for a particular Funko Pop. So, you know. I'm holding off. If you have something you think I may want, feel free to hit me up. Hey, I got this. I'm looking for this, that, and the third. Maybe we could work something out also. I hate reselling. I'm not into reselling, but I definitely am into trading. So, hit me up. <clears throat> I'm a little under the weather. I'm trying to knock out this cold right here. So, um, if my voice is a little in and out, I apologize. I'm trying to think if there was something else I got recently... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I got... <clears throat> I did get The Rock right here. So, I have a whole bunch of the WWE chases now. I have this one. I have the Razor Ramon. I have also, I'm trying to think, Iron Sheik, Ted DiBiase. I really need another Funko Pop I am definitely looking for is Jake the Snake. The regular version and the chase of Jake the Snake. So if you want to do trades for that, if anyone's going to get them and they have that available for me for trade, I'm looking for the Jake the Snake Funko Pop. It should be releasing really, really soon. And another one that I'm looking for is the Kurt Cobain in the green sweater from Smells Like Teen Spirit. I am looking to do trades for that pop. It's not even that limited, but... I hate ordering online. You don't know if the box is going to come right. So, um, you know, if you have a perfect box and you want to make a trade, hit me up. We'll see what we can do. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting out there. And I'll be back hopefully in the next couple of days with a new video. If you didn't check out the video from the other day, please do so. And we out.